I believe you might have heard about the ammonia engine somewhere on the internet. Today, I want to bring you news that has been making waves in the automotive world. Tesla is developing a possible ammonia-powered engine for its vehicles. That's right, ammonia. Instead of solely advancing electric batteries, Tesla is exploring an innovative and surprising alternative. Ammonia, with its high energy density, could offer greater range without the harmful emissions of traditional combustion engines. This new venture could completely transform how we think about sustainable transportation. And I want to explain in detail for you to better understand how this technology could impact the automotive industry and our lives. Instead of following the path of electric battery advancements, Tesla is betting on an ammonia-powered engine. But why would Elon and Tesla consider such an unconventional idea? To understand this shift, we need to look beyond the obvious. The electric vehicle industry has long been dominated by batteries and electric motors. But let's look at the facts. Ammonia, as a hydrogen compound, boasts a significantly higher energy density than hydrogen gas. This means an ammonia-powered engine could potentially offer greater range than traditional combustion engines without the dreaded emissions of gasoline or diesel. Sounds incredible, doesn't it? But this is a bet on a powerful chemistry that could revolutionize how we view cars. And don't think this is just science fiction. There are real studies about this. Researchers have been exploring ammonia as a viable energy source for some time. A study by the University of Oxford highlighted not only ammonia's high energy density, but also its potential to be produced from renewable sources. This study suggests that ammonia could be a sustainable alternative to fossil fuels, as its production can utilize solar, wind, or hydroelectric energy. Ammonia's energy density is a crucial factor. Compared to hydrogen, ammonia has a higher energy density, meaning it can store more energy in less space. This is essential for vehicle applications, as it could provide greater range without increasing the vehicle's weight or size. Additionally, ammonia can be stored in tanks at ambient temperature and moderate pressure, which facilitates its use compared to hydrogen, which requires cryogenic conditions. Another advantage is that ammonia does not emit carbon dioxide when used as fuel. Instead, it decomposes into nitrogen and water, two environmentally harmless byproducts. This makes ammonia a very attractive option for reducing the carbon footprint of vehicles. Ammonia production can also be done sustainably using electrolysis processes powered by renewable energy sources. This could completely transform the automotive industry, making it much greener and more sustainable. Now, what does this mean for the automotive industry? Just imagine. Companies that have been trying to catch up with Tesla in the electric race may now be wondering if they're headed in the right direction. Traditional automakers like Ford, General Motors, and Volkswagen have invested billions in developing electric vehicles and building charging infrastructure. Electric charging stations are being installed worldwide, and battery technology is constantly advancing. But the introduction of ammonia-powered engines could completely change the game. If Tesla successfully implements this technology, other companies will need to rethink their strategies. Ammonia refueling infrastructure is virtually non-existent at the moment, which would pose a significant challenge. However, the prospect of a more efficient and sustainable alternative fuel could be a powerful incentive for the industry to adopt this technology. Additionally, ammonia can be produced on a large scale and distributed using existing natural gas distribution infrastructure, which could facilitate its adoption. Personally, I believe this innovation could be a game changer. The automotive industry needs sustainable alternatives to fossil fuels, and ammonia offers a promising solution. However, practical challenges such as creating refueling infrastructure and ensuring ammonia handling safety must be considered. Sustainable ammonia production also needs to be economically viable for this technology to be adopted on a large scale. Tesla's potential move to an ammonia-powered engine puts at risk all the existing infrastructure focused on electric vehicles. Electric charging stations, which have become so common in our cities, 
may now face a challenge from potential demand for ammonia refueling stations. It's like building amazing bridges, and then someone comes along saying everyone wants to travel by balloon now. And this doesn't just affect car manufacturers and tech companies. Imagine the impact on battery companies, which have seen a steep rise in sales due to the growing demand for electric vehicles. Companies focused on hydrogen fuel cell technology, like plug power, may now be rubbing their hands together, while those specializing in lithium-ion batteries, like Panasonic, may be feeling the pressure. To get a more realistic idea, a recent study by Bloomberg and EF pointed out that by 2040, we could have over 500 million electric cars on the roads. Impressive, isn't it? But that was before Tesla shook things up with the idea of ammonia-powered engines. Now, the big question is, will these forecasts need a major revision? After all, the introduction of such a revolutionary new technology could completely change the landscape as we know it. When we think about the geopolitical landscape, countries that have bet on electric vehicles may be reconsidering their strategies. Norway, for example, which leads the way in terms of electric vehicle adoption, may be taking a pause to think about how this change would affect its policies and investments. Would the electric charging infrastructure that has spread across the country be sufficient, or would they have to heavily invest in new ammonia refueling stations? It's not just a product change, it's a paradigm shift. Building an ammonia refueling infrastructure isn't as simple as installing more electrical outlets. There are logistical challenges to overcome, safety concerns, and even public acceptance, as people have grown accustomed to the comfort and familiarity of electric charging stations. Just imagine, replacing what we know with something completely new and unknown? This could initially cause some apprehension. And now, the big question hangs in the air. Will companies invest more in electric infrastructure or start exploring the possibilities of ammonia? The world of electric vehicles stands at a crossroads, and the answer could shape the future of mobility. We're facing a revolution, my friends, and I can't wait to see how this unfolds. Personally, I find it fascinating how technology is always evolving and challenging our expectations. The idea of using ammonia as fuel is truly intriguing. Of course, there are many challenges to overcome, but if Tesla is betting on it, they must see great potential. Ammonia can be produced sustainably, emits no carbon dioxide during combustion, and boasts a high energy density. All of this is promising. An interesting example of how this technology could be revolutionary is the possibility of producing ammonia using renewable energy. According to a study by the University of Oxford, ammonia can be manufactured from solar, wind, or hydroelectric energy, making it a truly sustainable solution. This is a significant step towards a greener future less dependent on fossil fuels. Additionally, ammonia's high energy density means vehicles could have greater range without the need for heavy and bulky batteries. This could address one of the main challenges of current electric vehicles, which is the need for large batteries to ensure adequate range. With ammonia, we could see lighter and more efficient vehicles. However, we must remember that safety in handling ammonia is a legitimate concern. Ammonia is a potentially hazardous chemical compound, and leaks can pose significant risks to the environment and people. It's crucial that any ammonia refueling infrastructure be designed with rigorous safety measures to prevent and mitigate these risks. Another important issue is public acceptance. People are already getting used to the idea of electric vehicles and electric charging stations. Introducing a new type of fuel could face initial resistance, especially if there are concerns about safety and convenience. Significant efforts in education and awareness will be needed to ensure the public is comfortable with this new technology. Moreover, the economic impact cannot be ignored. Companies that have heavily invested in battery technology and electric charging infrastructure may feel the impact of a shift towards ammonia. On the other hand, companies focused on hydrogen fuel cell technology, like plug power, may see this as an opportunity to expand their operations and capture a new market. Furthermore, 
the lack of regulations, standards, and practical experience in using ammonia as fuel have been highlighted. It's uncharted territory, and like any new technology, there is resistance and uncertainties. But hold on, we're talking about Elon Musk. He has already surprised us with electric cars, underground tunnels, and space travel. Is ammonia just another challenge for him to conquer? It's a fascinating uncertainty that only time will tell. What do you think? According to Tesla's own genius, ammonia could be the key to making vehicles truly carbon neutral. It's as if Musk is offering us a glimpse of a world where we drive without harming the planet. But, of course, there's always a price to pay and questions to be asked. Firstly, Musk's assertion isn't just optimistic bravado. Researchers at the University of Cambridge conducted a study highlighting ammonia as a potentially sustainable fuel source. The possibility of producing ammonia from renewable sources could really give this fuel a green shine. Elon Musk isn't just aiming at developed countries with their electric charging stations. He's waving the flag for ammonia's versatility, suggesting it could be adopted in developing countries too. Imagine a scenario where ammonia-powered cars aren't just for major cities, but a feasible solution for communities worldwide. It's an ambitious vision, but we can't deny that ammonia offers a more inclusive mode of transportation. However, like any journey into the unknown, there are important questions. The first one, environmental risks. While Musk highlights ammonia's reduced carbon footprint, critics point to potential dangers from leaks. Studies emphasize the toxicity of ammonia, indicating that exposure to high concentrations can be harmful to human health and the environment. Ammonia, at elevated levels, can cause irritation to the eyes, skin, and respiratory tract. In extreme cases, inhaling ammonia can lead to severe lung damage. This raises serious concerns about the safety in handling and storing this fuel. Ammonia is also hazardous to the environment. If leaked, it can contaminate soil and bodies of water, adversely affecting local fauna and flora. And we have to address the issue of noise. One of the great advantages of electric vehicles is their silent operation, contributing to reduced noise pollution in cities. However, Ammonia-powered engines do not share this characteristic. They produce noise during combustion, adding a sound element to the mobility equation. This could be a significant negative point, especially in densely populated urban areas where noise pollution is already a problem. Just imagine trading the smooth and almost imperceptible sound of an electric vehicle for the distinctive roar of an ammonia engine. Are we willing to give up this auditory comfort? It's a legitimate question that many have. Moreover, noise isn't just a matter of comfort. Studies have shown that continuous exposure to high noise levels can have adverse health effects, including increased stress, sleep problems, and even cardiovascular issues. Therefore, the introduction of ammonia engines would need to consider these impacts and seek ways to minimize the noise generated. However, it's important to consider that, like any new technology, there is room for improvement and innovation. Acoustic insulation technologies and quieter engine designs could be developed to mitigate the sound impact of ammonia-powered engines. But this would take time and investment, and we still don't know if these efforts would be sufficient to match the silence of current electric motors. This combination of concerns about toxicity and noise makes it clear that, despite its promising potential, the adoption of ammonia-powered engines will not be a simple transition without challenges. Safety must be a top priority, both to protect individuals and to ensure public acceptance of this new technology. The issue of noise also needs to be effectively addressed so that the benefits of more sustainable transportation are not overshadowed by noise pollution problems. Therefore, while ammonia-powered engines offer an innovative and potentially sustainable solution, there are still many obstacles to overcome. Are we ready to trade the quiet operation of electric vehicles for the noise of ammonia combustion engines? This is a question many have, and only time and technological development will tell if this trade-off will be worthwhile.
Given Tesla's track record in revolutionary innovations, the idea of using ammonia as fuel didn't come out of nowhere. In fact, ammonia has been explored as a potential rocket fuel for some time. In the aerospace industry, ammonia is valued for its unique properties such as high energy density and relatively safe storage compared to other fuels. This familiarity with ammonia use at SpaceX may be influencing Tesla's vision for its application in terrestrial vehicles. This raises the intriguing question of whether there's a broader strategy at play. Is ammonia being viewed as a fuel that not only powers our cars, but also our space aspirations? Imagine a future where ammonia becomes a versatile fuel, powering both the vehicles we drive on the roads and the rockets that take us to space. This convergence of technologies could create unexpected synergies and accelerate the development of both industries. The use of ammonia as rocket fuel offers insights into its advantages and challenges. At SpaceX, ammonia could be used in rocket engines because of its ability to store energy compactly and its clean combustion compared to traditional fossil fuels. These benefits also apply to the automotive sector. Ammonia's high energy density means vehicles could have longer ranges with fewer refuelings, and cleaner combustion could significantly reduce emissions of pollutants. However, the transition to ammonia is not without its challenges. Safe handling of ammonia is crucial given its toxicity and the risks associated with leaks. Moreover, large-scale production of ammonia needs to be efficient and sustainable. Ammonia can be produced from renewable sources like solar and wind energy, making it an attractive option for a sustainable future. However, this process still needs widespread implementation to be economically viable. As we await more information on the development of this narrative, I want to hear from you in the comments. Is ammonia really the key to a more sustainable future of mobility, or are we simply risking trading one set of challenges for another? The discussion on ammonia as a vehicle fuel is just beginning, and it's essential to consider all aspects before forming a definitive opinion. Personally, I find the idea of a technology that can serve both our cars and our space aspirations fascinating. It shows the interconnectedness of technological advancement and how innovative solutions can emerge from unexpected areas. However, it's important to rigorously address all safety and sustainability concerns. The adoption of a new type of fuel must be approached cautiously to ensure that the benefits outweigh the risks. The possibility of using ammonia as a universal fuel capable of powering both terrestrial and space vehicles is an exciting prospect. If successful, this approach could radically transform our transportation and energy infrastructures. However, we're only at the beginning of this journey, and many questions still need to be answered. I'll wrap up here, and if you're not already subscribed, please subscribe to the channel to stay updated on future updates and continue exploring the latest news, analyses, and curiosities from the automotive world with me. Leave a like if you enjoy the content, comment your opinions and suggestions, and activate the notification bell to stay informed firsthand. Thank you for joining me. And until the next video, see you soon.